My name is Noah Okami. I am 18 years old and currently the youngest worker here at Koaloha Ukulele. I'm the grandson of Alvin Pops Okami, the founder of this company, and I just love working here. This section is called the milling section. While it's the most important section in the shop, I'd probably say it's one of the most boring, and it's actually where my dad works, so. What we do here in the milling section is we grab raw pieces of lumber like this from our mill and then we use this saw to cut them into usable pieces. We cut it into billets like this and then we cut it one more time into smaller shreds and then from there we do a process called book matching. So it's basically where we open it up from the middle so it looks like one mirrored image, as you can see. Most of your ukuleles and your guitars aren't actually one piece on the face and back. It's actually two, two pieces glued together like a mirrored image. Here at Koloho, we mainly use all Hawaiian coal wood, which makes sense because we're building a Hawaiian instrument, right? We also use different woods like mango, which is also hard to get your hands on, not because it's rare, but because no one wants to cut down their mango trees. Once we get our pieces of wood cut into nice pieces, we head over to my next section called the body section, where the ukulele starts to look like an actual instrument. So we grab our wraps, which we got from the milling section, which are the sides of the ukulele. And as you can see, they're just straight and rectangle shaped right now. So to get them into their shape, we fill this pot with water. We put all our wraps in and we boil them for about 15 to 20 minutes just so that the grain can get shocked and expand. Once that happens, take them out of the boiling water. We light this uh, lighter on fire. We send it through this pipe, and this we wait for this pipe to get hot. Once it's hot enough, we send it through like this, and we begin to bend it. After it's bent, each side looks like this. From this, we put them into our molds. So we use something like this to put our wraps inside so that it holds the shape, and we let it dry overnight. Once the wraps are dry, the next step is to insert our head and tail blocks. These basically help create support for our wraps and make them one piece. After that's glued on, we glue on the face of the ukulele. And then after the face is glued on, we glue on our uni brace and back brace. After we glue all our uni brace and back bracings in, we glue on the back. 
and the ukulele will look something like this. It kind of looks like an ukulele sandwich. We'll get rid of these edges in the next section called the assembly section. All right, guys, welcome to the assembly section. This is my cousin Egan here. He's working on today's batch of assembly. Um, so basically what we do in the assembly section is we grab our bodies from the body section. And as you can see, the edges are all gone. So how we do that is we actually use a router and it allows us to create a nice bevel on the edge. After we get it into its shape, the neck, fretboard, and bridge placement is ready to get put on. thing we do is we put on our neck. The ukulele should look something like this. We use center lines all over the place just to make sure that everything is perfect because if you don't place on the neck correctly, they can cause problems like buzzing and um, problems with tone. So after our necks go on, we glue on our fretboards. So this is an example. So the ukulele looks something like this. As you can see now, it basically looks like an ukulele just without the strings and the bridge over here. Before I take you to the parts room and the spray room, I want to show you this really cool machine that is actually one of the most useful machines in the whole entire shop. This is our fretboard machine and it was actually created by our very own Papa Koaloha and it saves us a lot of time. So here's an example of a finished fretboard. As you can see, each wire is placed perfectly straight. So basically what you do is you get your piece of wood, whatever you want to use for your fretboard. You put it in like this, you turn on the machine, cut it, and then boom, in a matter of seconds, you have all your, your gaps evenly spaced and it's perfect. If you look very closely, you can see a little lip on the edge of our fretboards. When it gets hotter and the wood kind of contracts or expands, the metal can get exposed and when you're kind of playing and you're rubbing your hands like this, it can get scratched up and it's, it's just real inconvenient. So we did this to solve it and it's pretty neat. So yeah, this is our fretboard machine. And let me take you into our next section, which is the parts room and spray booth. This is our spray room. And unfortunately, we cannot show you that because to go inside, you, we need better masks and all the fumes are pretty toxic, but I can explain what goes on in there. So we basically spray our ukuleles about nine times total. And each time you spray the ukulele, you need to sand it to kind of roughen up the lacquer so you can spray it again. And nine coats is what we use to get our perfect finish. This room right here is our buffing room and someone's actually in there right now. I also will not take you in there today because it's very dusty when someone's working in there, but it's basically, once we get our finished sprayed ukuleles, we buff them to make them super shiny and beautiful. This is called the parts room because it's where we make all our parts, smaller parts for the ukulele anyways. So for example, here's where we brace all our faces and backs, our internal bracing, looks like this. And it is also where we bind or put that extra lip I was explaining earlier on the side of our fretboards. So we get our ukuleles out of the spray and buff section. They look like this with our fretboards taped off so that no lacquer gets on top. So we take off that tape. We oil our bridge and fretboard. 
It just about looks like a finished ukulele, but we still need to put our pegs in and string them up. Once that's complete, once they're strung up, we notch them as well to make sure that the action is perfect to play. Sounds beautiful and they're ready to send out to the world. Beautiful, huh? <laughs>